Hillsbury County doesn't put out a list of their surplus. Uh, so here is the current way that you can see uh, the excess proceeds, which is what Hillsbury County calls them. Um, you click on the sold status and search. And then you will see a column that says current excess proceeds amount. So they keep their website up to date. If a, if a claim uh, were to come in for one of these that has a, a surplus, um, it would be you know removed. And now, as you can see, there is no way to just download this this list um, to have it on your computer. And what you need to see on each record that has a surplus, you need to see the O&E report where they have the liens and encumbrances listed. And this is it's they have their records laid out kind of confusing. Um, if you click on file number to sort the column by the file number, you can see that each tax deed has several different records because Hillsboro will put each of their documents onto a, a separate line. Now to see the ownership and encumbrance report for older records like this auction date, uh, it was in 2008. On the older records of Hillsboro, they put that information in the tax collector certification, the DR 513. I'll just click into that so you can see. And right here, they will show who the owner of the property was at the time of the sale, which is very important also because you don't want to look at the property appraiser website for this uh, property right now because it's a different owner. This was a sale that happened in 2008. So the owner of the surplus is whoever was the owner of the property at that time. And this is the best way to find out that information. And then uh, down here, they will show if there are any liens and it says see attached, so I'm just going to scroll. And here is the uh, report that shows you the book and page numbers of the liens, if there are any, so that you could look those up. And now going back to the list, uh, looking at the auction dates, I'm going to go down to a newer auction. Here are some that are in 2018. And if you, I can see like 2018, 147, all of these. So within this section, actually, I'm not going to use this one because there's no surplus. I'll go up one for uh, 2018, 131. For the newer records, it's not in the tax collector certification, it's in an OE report, which you can see here. And I'm going to click into that. And they now use uh, Grant Street Group to provide their title reports. And down here I can see the owner of record. And this is how the owner is listed on the... Um, no, this first one is how the owner is listed on the tax collector's website when you see tax roll. So that might be an additional mailing address uh, on the record. But I can see that it's the same address as the apparent title holder, which is this is how the owner is listed on the property appraiser's re website. And then down here you can see that there is a mortgage and they have some Hillsboro County liens with the book and page numbers that you can look up to see how much they are. And now I want to show you what we've done for Hillsboro County uh, for this special list. We took all of their records from the auctions dating back in 2008 to the last one that shows on their list, which looks like actually I see the latest auction date of June 7th. So we've taken all of these records and we put them onto an Excel spreadsheet. We cleaned out any of the records where the surplus was less than $1,000. We added a direct link to each records page on the property appraiser website so you can get more information if needed. As you can see, these all link directly to this record. 
and then up here with uh, this link tax deed documents website that will bring up the Hillsborough County site you were just looking at so that you can look up each record um, as needed so for instance we're going to take this very first one you look in the tax deed column and you just copy that uh, tax deed number the tax deed number is the file number we're just going to paste it in there do a search and then on that record since this is an old one 20, uh, 2008 you want to go into the tax collector certification to see the liens and encumbrances now you can also um, order this special list uh, with the additional uh, service of us downloading and giving you the ownership and encumbrance report directly so that you don't have to go in and look up each of these um, numbers and find the PDF of the O&E report. Uh, we can do that for you if, you if you order that additional service. We also put in a link to the clerk of court the tax collector's website, the official records website, which is important. You'll use this website to look up the liens by the book and page number that you're given. And if you are a member of Florida Overbids, this would be a direct link to the Hillsborough page.